Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and welcome back. So today I will take you into the new garden space that we just expand. We've been working non-stop for the whole entire week so I will talk to you all the detail from the day one until the finish. So this is the main garden but the project that we're going to do is this area. We're going to take out all the grass and putting a couple more of the raised bed and the seating area will be around the area right there. Garden project day one, we need to remove all the grass and this is probably the hardest part of the project. So day two, we remove most of the grass and today we're going to finish it and we're gonna start laying the weed resistant for the weed resistant, we're using the heavy duty one because we just want to make sure that the grass won't grow back. Garden project day five and we finally finished the space and I love it so much guys. It's come out along so well. I always wanted a seating area right in the garden space where I can relax and have some tea and sow some seed and do other things in the garden. I love the gate. It come out so, so cute. And the reason that I add the gate, we just took quart off around the seating area, make it a little bit more cozy. And the plumbago start to crawl along the fence and I love it so much. So move along to the garden area, we add two extra raised beds in the new space. I know, right? We just never have enough space in the garden to grow. In one of the new beds, I grow all the Chinese greens such as Napa cabbages, bok choy, and lettuce. So another bed, I grow all flowers. So I sow a few rows of the zinnia, different varieties, different colors. It's going to be so pretty. And I also grow another row of the snapdragon, also mixed colors. This one is my new favorite so far. It's called Anemone. To me, it looks so similar to poppies, but I think it's maybe it's bigger than poppies. I just love a little walkway into the back of the garden. So I add the pot in the middle, and in this pot, I grow lobelia around the edge of the pot so they can grow and kind of drape down the pot and I also add snapdragon as a centerpiece. I just grab a new flag for welcoming spring and move down here is Arabian Jasmine. Arabian Jasmine is one of my favorite jasmine and it just I just have a lot of memory with this. It reminding me of my grandmother. I used to love picking this jasmine for her every single morning. So growing it in the garden just want to keep her close to my heart so for this cut corner right here i got different variety of flowers i got the fox love that at the beginning and along the line i have all the lobelia gonna be so pretty and inside i got cognation snapdragon different colors and look at this isn't it beautiful oh my goodness i love it i love the color and this one is really big the flowers it's so big so pretty and along of each bed i also grow different variety of flowers i just love adding different flowers for this season i just cannot wait for spring guy because all of this flower will be grow bigger and all the blooms. So this is the entire space of the garden. Now we have a total of 16 raised beds in the garden and the sitting area. Just imagine when it's spring, summer and fall, when all the pomegranate and persimmon start fruiting and hang off the tree, this space will look like heaven. And oh my God, I really love it so much. I love that it come out along so beautiful. So we add two poles around this area to hang the light. So I attach the light from one pole to the persimmon tree and from persimmon tree to another pole and back to pomegranate tree. 
and then wrap around the trellis arch and at night time you guys it's so pretty the color the warmers of the color it's just so perfect and it's matched with the light that i attach along the bed so this is looking from another corner of the garden and you can see the entire space and all the vegetable grow so well i am starting the second round right now growing all the green cauliflowers and broccolis all right guys so that's it for today's video and i hope you enjoy this new garden space as much as i do and thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video because i will show you how i mix the soil to grow a big and healthy vegetable in my garden